here's what I know about stories. At their core, every good story is about one thing, transformation. The hero of the story is only a hero because they struggled, because they failed, they faltered, they learned from their mistakes. And then in a moment of understanding and realization or actually a series of moments, they come to understand who they need to be in order to win the day. But that knowledge doesn't come from waking up one day perfect, doing everything perfectly, meeting all your deadlines, hitting all the things that you wanted, having all of your goals come easily. It's not a great story if your characters wake up perfect and end exactly perfect and never go through struggle, never fail, never have challenges because it's the challenge that creates the transformation. Our lives are the same way. Failure is only failure for your hero in the story, like the black moment, that moment when all is lost. It only is the end there if the story ends there. But as writers, we know that that is actually the most powerful moment of the story. This transformation catalyst that forces your character to change, to realize who they need to be, to step into their greatest self. And our lives are like that too. Every failure that we face, every struggle, every hardship is just a necessary step on the path to becoming who we were always meant to be. It's only a failure if you didn't win NaNoWriMo or you didn't meet your deadline or your sales aren't what they wanted you wanted them to be or you didn't get your book published this year or you didn't hit all your goals in 2020. That is only a failure if your story ends there. And the only way it ends is if you give up on yourself. This month <laughs> did not go at all the way I planned, I thought that I would be writing The Witch's Door, that Fate's Surrender would be published already, and it would be an easy month of just lots of writing and hanging out with people on YouTube. I didn't see the struggle coming, but that's the way good stories unfold, right? We don't see it until it's right there, until we're in it. And what makes us who we are is not the things that come easily, but the things we survive and the number of times we keep standing up after we fall. The last couple of years of my writing journey have been more of a struggle. I have been able to and very blessed to pour my heart and soul into this YouTube channel, into my courses, into planners and, and my family and having a new baby and everything else. But the writing has been the struggle through so much of this. Uh, really learning to embrace my muse and make decisions based on truth and creativity and who I want to be and how I want to show up in the world as a writer, rather than constantly making decisions in my writing based on fear and being afraid of what other people will think or how the sales will be, or if I'll be able to ever get back to the level of sales that I was at before. But this month, even though it didn't go the way I expected, even though I had to push my pre-order back and lose, you know, pre-order privileges on Amazon, and there are real consequences to not meeting that deadline. This is not a failure for me. This is a lesson that was important for me to learn so that I can now get better as a human, as a writer, as Sarah. This is how I grow. This is how I transform. And you know, here's the thing too, is I have felt very vulnerable sharing a lot of this process with you all. But, you know, maybe... There's some of you out there that needed to see a professional six-figure author going through this kind of struggle, not quite meeting her goals and getting up anyway, because maybe if I had just shown up every day and had thousands of words and the whole month had been super easy and gone exactly according to plan, there would be nothing for me to give or to offer you as a viewer. So maybe my struggle is necessary so that you know not to give up. And that makes it all worth it too. Here's what I know. This year has been extraordinarily difficult for so many of us. And I'm sure even in ways that I can understand for you and your family, some of you out there. But this is not the end of the story. This is just a piece of the journey, a part of the struggle. And this is potentially the year where we learned to make some of our greatest transformations. And 
that doesn't come without hardship. We falter, we struggle, we transform. And that is really what life is all about. Being a creative person, time management and what you want to happen is not always going to line up with what happens creatively. And it's up to you to decide what you're willing to compromise, who you want to be, and how your story is going to end. Because we can't go back and change the past. I can't go back and, you know, never set up this pre-order. I can't go back and write this book three years ago. But I can stand here on the final day of NaNoWriMo, having hit and succeeded in my 50,000 word goal, but having this challenging moment of having to push back a deadline, disappointing fans. But that for me is not failure. Struggle is not failure. Disappointment is not failure. The only failure is the failure you decide to accept. So no matter where you are standing here, as you watch this, NaNoWriMo is over. It is now December 2020. One final month left in a struggle of a year. Where are you in your life? And where do you want to be next year, five years from now? Because this moment in your life, this year, these struggles that you're going through can be the end. It can be the year that you quit and you you just left yourself hanging on that cliff uh, and never continued and finished your story. Or this can be the catalyst for your transformation, for you reaching forward into the future and becoming the person you know you were always meant to be. And that is no one else's choice but yours. <sighs> Epilogue, NaNoWriMo Diaries 2020. It's been one hell of a journey, but this is not the end. There's so much more to come. Will you let your struggles define you? Or will you take the lessons and transform? This is Sarah Cannon, Day 30, NaNoWriMo Diaries 2020 signing out. So much love and gratitude. And just a final reminder that you are worthy of your dreams. You have stories inside of you. You have things that you were meant to do in this world. And every struggle, whether you can see it in the moment, we so often can't see it in the moment, but every struggle is a necessary step to becoming the person you were meant to be. So hold on to that hope. Don't give up on yourself. And most importantly, keep telling your story. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it. Sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. 